Every day in a large class, I will use a method called peer instruction, which involves stopping several times during the class and posing to the entire class uh, a question like this one. And it turns out that students have a great deal of difficulty with this question. And the reason they have difficulty is because of a, a very common misunderstanding of how batteries behave and, and of the difference between current and voltage in an electrical circuit. So they discuss it and they vote on it and most of them get it wrong. And one of the beauties of it is that then, then you, can, you can do the demonstration. So you, you set this up, you have your two bulbs, they light up. So if I put a wire across the second bulb, what happens to the first bulb? You think it'll stay the same? Yeah. You think it'll stay the same? That's actually the most common guess. So in fact, the other bulb gets much brighter. The bulb you put it across goes out, and the other one gets much brighter. One of the things I learned is that demonstrations don't work unless you get the students to commit to an answer ahead of time. One of the things I notice just in the classroom is after I've asked this question and they've voted, when I stand up with the board, I have everyone's attention. They want to know. They want to see. You know, and there's a gasp in the room when they see what the answer is. You know, and the people who got it wrong groan, and the people who got it right cheer. And you know, it's a level of engagement with the material that, that you just don't see if you just stand up there and do it. Recently, I've been doing that using a, um, a technological system called clickers, which are little handheld devices that the students have that they can use to do the voting. Uh, that's not an essential part of the, of the pedagogy, but it makes things a little useful. And one of the questions I ask is, so should I keep doing this? Should I, should I keep using this system in the future? And um, so over here is the data uh, for the people who were strongly in favor and in favor people who had no opinion, people who said I shouldn't, and people who said I really shouldn't. And over 90%, you know, 93, 94% say yes, you should keep doing this. Another thing I asked is about these in-class questions, these questions that I ask and, and have them vote on, uh, the homework, uh, the recitation sections where they meet in smaller classes to go over homework, um, the textbook, um, and the labs. And by the way, this was a class back in 2000 when I was not using clickers. The absolute highest thing in the whole list is the in-class questions. So one thing I have very clear evidence for is that the students like it. <laughs>